Hey guys, I uh, got a quick tip here for you. Um, couldn't find anything on YouTube for this, so hopefully um, this isn't something that everyone's heard about. Um, sorry if it is, but it was news to me and it helped me out and hopefully it helps someone else out. Um, so I have a 2011 uh, 5.3 flex fuel, but th this should work for other vehicles that aren't flex fuels. Uh, I had a Bank 1 and 2 running rich. Um, from what I read, it was anything from, you know, it could be a stuck fuel injector to O2 sensors, maybe your ma your mass airflow sensors out. So I was like, well, I don't want to just start blindly fixing, repairing stuff if, if it's not the issue. So I did take it to a shop. I said, hey, I need you to figure out what's wrong so I know what to fix. They came back. They're like, yeah, it's your alcohol content sensor. It's not talking to the car anymore it's, it's just guessing right now um, my gas fuel mileage was really bad it felt like I was dragging a bucket through water when I drove it was just real sluggish so they quoted me like 200 bucks 250 bucks to fix it and I was like well let me see what I can do let me see if I have you know can find anything somewhere on a forum on Google I found this and it worked for me so what you do you unplug your MAF sensor, you go in, you start the car, you let it, you know, it'll run like crap for about five seconds, maybe seven, and then it'll let, it'll even out, it'll run smooth, let it run for about 10 seconds, turn it off, come back out, plug this guy back in, go in and start the car. What you're doing, from what I read, is that you're creating a baseline, basically. You're, you're, you're telling the system, okay, let's relearn what's in here again. Um, and it's, when you go to restart it after plugging that guy back in, it's going to run like crap again for about five seconds. It'll even out. It'll, it, it should level out. Um, like I said, my, mine was running pretty bad, and then it evened out after five seconds. Um, started running smooth. I let it run for ten seconds um, and turned it off. And the only time I ever used um, something outside like a computer or a code scanner or anything. I didn't use any of that. All I used was a reader. Um, this will read codes. You can erase the codes if the problem's fixed. If the problem's not fixed, it will not erase the code. It'll just say error. Um, you can go to any car parts store. They can read the code for you. As far as erasing the engine light, I'm not sure who can do that except for someone that you know that owns something like this it was like 30 bucks but all it does for me is i, I just use it to read engine codes so I, I know if something pops up on our cars i'm like oh okay i know what it is um i use this to erase the code the check engine light went off and it hasn't come back on in about a month um like i said the car runs a lot better now my my gas mileage is a lot better so give that a shot um, my neighbor had the same issue. Uh, he had something else going on. He tried this, where you unplug it, you start it, turn it off, come in, plug it in, you know, plug it back in, start it again. He said it fixed his issue too. Uh, maybe it'll help you. Uh, hopefully it will. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.